Hi, this is Julia with the latest housing news and here they are. Papuan separatists will shoot a New Zealand pilot if nation reject dialogue. A new video released by the group show Rebels in Indonesia's Papua region threatened to shoot a New Zealand pilot they took hostage in February 2023 if countries do not comply with their demand to start independence talks within two months. The video was shared by Papuan Rebel spokesperson Sebi Sambon and shows a visibly emaciated Mertens holding the band Morning Star flagged, a symbol of West Papuan independence. The pilot states the separatist wants countries other than Indonesia to engage in dialogue on Papuan independence. The Papuan military here have given two more months for the countries outside, uh, outside of Indonesia to engage in dialogue with Indonesia and Papua for Papua independence. Uh, if uh, it does not happen within two months, then they say they will shoot me. The Indonesian Foreign Ministry and Military and the New Zealand Embassy in Jakarta did not immediately respond to requests for comments. Indonesian authorities have previously said they are prioritizing peaceful negotiations to secure the release of Mertens, but have struggled to access the isolated and rugged Thailand terrain. Vietnam cuts public lighting to save energy during heat wave. Vietnam's capital of Hanoi have been turning off street lights partially to keep the national power system running mid record rising temperatures that brought a surge in electricity demand in some parts of the Southeast Asian nation. If all the people save energy, then we'll have enough electricity to use. If not, there will be a partial electrical overload, which will put the power grid at risk. Weather officials said temperatures this week are expected to range between 26 and 38 degrees Celsius. To deal with the heat, Hanoi is turning on its public lighting half an hour later than usual and switching it off half an hour sooner, while helping illumination on some major roads and in public parks. Some local residents also choose to cool off at a water park, although experts say activity in extreme heat can cause dehydration and exhaustion. Former Canadian soldier extradited to Thailand over gang killing. After the former soldier arrived in Bangkok on a special Air Force flight, Thai authorities said Canadian national Matthew Dupre has been successfully extradited to Thailand in connection with the killing last year of a criminal gang member. In a news conference, Central Investigation Bureau Commissioner Jirabo Puridech said Dupre 38 is wanted for the alleged murder of suspected criminal Jimmy Shandu, who was shot dead on Phuket in February 2022. Uh, the disease is connected with the Canadian United Nations criminal gang and was linked to the murder of one of the leaders of another gang called the Red Scorpion in Canada. Thai police said police footage showed Dupre in handcuffs and surrounded by officers at a police facility. The extradition involved a Thai Air Force flight after commercial airlines declined requests for transport over safety concerns. An Alberta court approved the extradition of Dupre last December. China will protect its legal activities after invasion of claims from Vietnam. Chinese Foreign Ministry said it has maintained communication with relevant parties and will protect its lawful rights and interests after Vietnam accused a Chinese survey vessel and its escort of violating its sovereignty. A Chinese research ship and five escort vessels were in Vietnam's exclusive economic zone, close to gas blocks operated by Russian firms in the South China Sea a day after Vietnam urged the ships to leave. Under international rules, ships are allowed to cross other countries' EEZs, but Chinese operations have long been perceived as hostile by Vietnam and other countries with claims in the South China Sea, including the Philippines and Malaysia. South Korean military recovered debris of the North Space launch vehicle. South Korean military conducted a salvage operation to recover what is believed to be parts of North Korea's space launch vehicle. 
Seoul's Joint Chiefs of Staff said the projectile fell into waters some 200 kilometers west of the southwestern island of Eocheong after passing over the far west of the island of Bangyong. Photographs released by South Korean military showed debris being pulled from the water. The flight was the nuclear-armed state's sixth satellite launch attempt and the first since 2016. It was supposed to put North Korea's first spy satellite in orbit. Bill Gates highly comments on China's contribution to addressing global challenges. Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates acknowledged China's contributions to fight the pandemic and addressing food security when delivering virtual speech at the 2023 Songguang Chung Forum in Beijing. In the virtual speech, Gates noted China's unique contribution to the global challenges through the country's sharing of technologies and know-how. Gates said, crisis no borders, so they must be addressed to cross-border cooperation. He expressed optimism about the future of China's chip industry and how U.S. sanctions will not prevent it from developing its own semiconductors. Song Guangchung was established in 1988 in northwestern Beijing, housing clusters of universities and research institutes. It is China's first national high-tech industrial development zone and is known as China's Silicon Valley. The Song Guangchung Forum was founded in 2007 and has grown into a national-level open innovation platform and international forum. Well, thank you very much for watching everyone. Enjoy your weekend, stay safe and stay healthy.